super, super exciting video for you guys today. You guys seem to be loving the tech tutorials, which is making me very happy. Of course, they're not getting as much views as the VR videos, but hey, that's okay. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you how to dual boot Android on your computer alongside Windows, because a lot of people want Android apps on their computer for several reasons. They want to be able to record them easier, or they want to be able to use mouse and keyboard for them. So today, I'm going to be showing you two ways of doing that. I'm going to show you how to install Chrome OS, which is the thing that comes on Chromebooks, you know, that weird thing, onto a USB stick, not actually onto your hard drive, so you can just boot straight from the USB stick whenever you feel like it. You just plug the USB stick in, and you have Android on that USB stick, and you can turn it on from that. And I'm also going to show you how to install a version of Android on your computer that looks a little more like Windows. It's called Bliss OS. It has the startup menu, it has everything like that, and it's running Android Q. This is actually one of the main reasons as to why I didn't have Android installed on my computer yet, because I couldn't find an Android Q version of it. Just recently, Bliss OS came out with an experimental version of Android Q for your Intel or AMD computers. That is 64-bit. So I'm really excited to try that out. But just before we begin, you guys did it. Be proud of yourselves. The number of people subscribed watching these videos is now all the way up to 10.3%. You made it to 10%. I know this is what you guys were waiting for. You did it. We're at 10%. So if you guys like the video and you like my other videos, I upload tech videos daily and I upload VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. And you're part of that 89.7% of people that aren't subscribed yet. Make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, become part of the 360p gang. Follow me on my social media here and here because I want to hear what you guys want to see. Join our Discord, join our Reddit, and let's get into the video. Again, all the download links for this will be down in the description below. So you're going to need two ISOs for this, one for Chrome OS, which is the thing that runs on Chromebooks, and one for Bliss OS, both down in the description below. You are also going to need a software called Balena Etcher, which is what will actually write the files to your USB stick. So, as you can see guys, we're on my desktop again. As you can see here, we've also reached 1 million views. You guys are just absolutely insane. So, as you can see, we have Bliss OS and we have Chrome OS. So, Let's take our first USB stick and put Chrome OS on it. All you do is you plug in your USB stick and you launch Balena Etcher right here. Then you select the USB device that you want to put Chrome OS on. So we're gonna choose the first one here, the eight gigabyte one, and you want to extract Chrome OS from its zip file, just like so. And then you choose flash from file and select Chrome OS. Once you've made sure everything here is correct, just click flash. And I will be right back to you guys once this is done. always requested. Okay, the flash is now complete. So now we're just gonna grab a second USB stick and do the exact same thing with Bliss OS. So now I'm going to put Bliss OS on this one. So you just click remove, flash from file, you select Bliss OS, select target, select your 32 gigabyte USB stick or just eight gig, doesn't really matter. That's just the one I had at hand and click flash. And now we wait again. So once again, I will be right back to you. Perfect, so as you can see, another flash complete. So I would say take out that USB stick, which I have right here. If you guys do decide to go for the Bliss OS option, we are going to make a separate partition for it. So you just wanna go down here, right click, go to disk management, and then you want to find a drive that you can actually make smaller. So I think I have enough space. So I'm actually going to make my videos drive a little smaller. So I think I'm going to give Bliss OS 64 gigabytes? I think 64 is, is a nice number. So 64, uh, zero, zero, zero. That, that should give it 64 gigabytes. There we go, 62.5. And I'm just going to make a really fast new volume. I'm gonna call it Bliss OS so that I know what I'm installing on. That's gonna format that, perfect. And now we have Bliss OS. Okay, so now I'm recording the audio on the laptop. So the audio shouldn't sound any different for you guys, which is great because I like keeping my audio consistent. So what you wanna do is you want to shut down your computer with the USB stick plugged in, and I'm going to guide you through the steps. It's very, very simple. So all you do is you spam F12 while you're starting up your computer. Now we are going to boot into Bliss OS first. So we select our USB stick that we just created. As you can see here, this list shows up. You want to select Bliss OS installation because we actually have our hard drive partitioned for that. And you are going to be booting into Bliss OS just like this. Perfect. And as you can see right here, it gives you a list for where you want to install Bliss OS. 
And our one here is labeled Bliss OS because that's the one we created, which is great. Always label your drives so that you don't install it on the wrong one. And all you do is you select it and you can select do not reformat. Do you want to install? Yes. Do you want to install slash system directory as reader write? Making slash system be reader write is easier for debugging, but it needs more disk space and will take longer installation. I'm going to select yes for that because, well, we have 64 gigabytes of disk space. Okay. So that's at 97%, it's almost done. Perfect, the installer is going to create a disks image to save to the user data. At least 20 gigabytes of free disk space is recommended. Are you sure you want to create the image? I'm gonna select yes. Please input the size of the data image in megabytes. Okay, um, I'm going to say in megabytes, I'm going to give it 32 gigs. So I'm going to do 32,000, perfect. So now you have the option to run Bliss OS or reboot. So we're going to click run Bliss OS so that we jump right into the operating system. So your PC is going to reboot. You want to spam F12 again. Okay, sick. This is great. So as you can see now, when you press F12 on your list here with the USB stick unplugged, it shows up as Android x86 on your hard drive. So you just select that and here you go. Press enter and you're going to boot right into Bliss OS. So as usual, first boot is going to take a while. So I'm going to let this thing boot and I will be right back to you. So as you can see right now, it's booting. This is kind of like their boot animation. So we just need to wait for it to start up. Let's just do that. I will be right back to you when this thing gets to its startup screen. Believe it or not, you can actually run Bliss OS live from the USB stick as well. So you don't actually need to install it. You can just run it straight from the USB stick by selecting live at the boot screen. Here we are. I couldn't get Android Q working, so we're on Android 9. Uh, it's just about as good. It's still supported. But here you go. We have full-blown Android 9 running on PC. Uh, 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 uh. And as you can see, you have the Play Store, which means you can get all your favorite apps. What I'm interested to see is, does the camera app work? There is no camera app, okay. So yeah, here it is. Fully working Android on your computer for whatever you might need it for. Whether it's playing some Android games on mouse and keyboard, whether it's searching through your Instagram, whether it's doing anything with Android apps, you have it right here. Perfect. So now that we have Bliss OS running, let's boot into Chromium. Now there are a few benefits as to booting into Chrome OS. For example, Chrome OS is actually a proper OS. It's not just Android ported onto your computer, it's actually what runs on Chromebooks. So you know that this is going to be stable and you know that all the apps on this are going to be compatible. Unlike when you're running Android, things can go wrong because after all it is ported onto your computer. So I'm going to show you guys this one on my laptop so that it's easier for you to see. So you plug your USB stick with Chrome OS into your device. You start spamming F12 while it's turning on to get into the boot menu. And of course, here you select your USB stick. So we're going to select this one right here. Let it boot into local image A. And there you go. It's booting straight into Chromium OS, which is essentially Chrome OS. But Chromium is, you know, like kind of the weird dev build of Chrome that I originally thought was a virus, but it's not. <laughs> and here we go. You are in Chromium OS. And there you go. That's that. You have successfully booted Chrome OS on your laptop or computer. And at least this one is stable. And all you do, if you ever want to turn it off, is you unplug the USB stick. No messing around with your computer hard drives with this one. It's great. Let's finish off the video. So yeah, that's that. I'm going to boot right back into Windows and I'm going to finish off this video for you guys. Well, guys, that's that. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you found what you needed here. As you can see, it's very simple to run Android on your computer in 2020. All you need is Bliss OS and you can either run it live straight from the USB stick or you can install it on your hard drive like I did here because who knows when I might need some Android apps running on my computer. Of course there is emulators but this is a lot lot better because what you're doing is you're running it natively so it can fully use the hardware you have at hand. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to install it on my laptop so that it's safe there and so that if I ever need to I can just launch Android OS 
on my laptop when I need it. So if this video helped you out, make sure to give it a like. If you want to see future videos like these, make sure to subscribe because I am uploading tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. And tomorrow I have a very cool VR video out for you guys. So if you're part of that 89.7% of people that aren't yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe, smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, become part of the 360p gang. Follow me on my social media here and here. I really want to hear what future videos you guys want to see. Join our Discord, join our Reddit, post some spicy memes, post your art because I will be showing off your art when there's enough of it on the Discord server at the end of every video. And that's it. So once again, if you want to see future videos, make sure to subscribe, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.